ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين به ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد there is a short chapter that we all all memorize that we all all recite but sometimes we read it without paying attention to what is being said in that verse <clears throat> and we just utter it and say it without understanding what is the meaning or what is the message that is being said to us and that chapter is al asr a very 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 short chapter very short chapter allah azza wa jal starts with qasam an oath to state the fact so when you when you when you make a qasam when you take an oath it is followed by something that is truth you are telling the truth and if you want to emphasize you will say wallahi to make it a fact <clears throat> so allah azza wa jal start with a qasam by saying wal asr and allah azza wa jal can take an oath with anything he wants because he created anything we only make an oath by allah but allah azza wa jal subhanahu wa ta'ala make an oath with whatever he wants and allah azza wa jal make a qasam and chose that qasam or that oath for that chapter by the time <clears throat> by a time it means what is 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 being said to us the qasam by the time that that yes i mean all what we have all what we share all all what we have in this life is a limited time that has been given to us the only thing that is different between us is the time the amount of time that is being given to us some 10 years some 50 some 70 some 80 some 5 it depends but if you see it we are nothing but time and that time has been given to you nobody is asking you or forcing you or pushing you you have the total time to do whatever you want what followed that qasam Okay, now this is the oath. Wal asr. Okay, what is the fact? In al insana lafi khusr. Man is in total loss. All, all, all mankind. Yes, yes. This is the fact. They are in loss. And there is an exception, except the few. If you look nowadays. 
you would find and you would see that billions of people, mankind, billions are saying Allah Azza wa subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has a son. Billions are saying and believing that there is no God that exists. Billions and billions are worshipping animals and idols. They are in loss. They are in loss. So, so, so how, how can we save ourselves? We don't want to be among those who are in loss. We have the time. Allah Azza wa guide us. What shall we do? How can we be exempted from those? Wal-asr inna al-insana lafi khusr illa except illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihat except those who have faith, who believed in Allah Azza wa Jal. It is not enough. It is not enough to say, I'm a believer. You have to prove it. And the proof for that is your action. Iman is referred to the things that you believe in your heart and the action. In the Quran, in the chapter Al-Baqarah, Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ إِيمَانَكُمْ This verse was revealed when the Qibla was changed from Al-Maqdis to Mecca. And the companions asked the Prophet وسلم, what about those who used to pray toward Maqdis and died now? Asking about their prayer, asking about their action and action. So Allah Azza wa revealed, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضِيعَ To waste, Allah Azza will not waste إِيمَانَكُمْ Referring to the prayer. So we want to be exempted, we want to be saved. We have to have faith in Allah Azza wa Jal, believe in His oneness, believe in His angels, believe in his books, believes in his prophets, believes in the day of judgment and follow that by action. What is the purpose? If, if, if you believe in the day of judgment and you don't act upon it, you, you don't believe your action, your action does not, does not prove that. Let me make it simple. Take an average of, 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 of the life that we spent in, on this earth. An average, the Prophet وسلم, said, the age of my ummah is between 60 and 70. Let's take 60 years old. 60 years that you're going to spend on this earth. Take the 10 years that you are a child. What is left is 50 years. What is happening in this and those years? What is happening? The Prophet ﷺ said, يَتَعَاقَبُ عَلَيْكُمْ مَلَائِكَةٌ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ And angels are sent from heavens at the daytime and they stay with us till the evening. Then they ascend. Then another angels would come in the evening and they would stay with us until the Fajr of the other day. Every day. And what do they do? What do they do? They record. They record whatever, whatever we do any single, even with the small as an item, they record it, good or bad. فَتُرْفَعِ إِلَى اللَّهِ And ascend to Allah Azza wa Jal. صَحِيفَةُ عَمَلِ الْيَوْمِ The deeds 
that we did during the day. And Sahifatu Amal al Layl. The page, hypothetically speaking, that has been recorded on it, the action that we did on night, every day. Two pages. Fifty years. Fifty times three hundred sixty-five times two. Thirty-six thousand five hundred pages. Thirty-six five hundred pages. That is your book. Huge. Unimaginable. 36,000 pages. Iqra kitabak. Read. That's your book. Read. And you will see all your actions. Everything. And there are some, they were going to be surprised. Oh my God. Mali هذا الكتاب. لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة. This book does not leave anything. Small, neither big, everything has been recorded. اقرأ كتابك. Total justice. You deny, you deny, can we bring a witness? And you're going to be surprised, who is that witness? Who is the witness? It is you. You are the witness. I am the witness. Imagine if you are in a court and the judge they says, okay, we're going to bring a witness. And who is the witness? You. You be witness. You witness on yourself. Of course. You will be happy because I can say whatever I want. You are the witness. And then what happened? Allah Azza wa Jal will order your legs to talk, your hands to talk, your eyes to talk, your tongue to talk, your ears to talk. And they will say, we went to this place. We hold this. We saw this. We heard this. We ate this. I'm going to be surprised. Can you deny it? No, I cannot. And you will say to, 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 to your legs, I was, I was defending you. I was protecting you. I was protecting you. And what do they say? Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal made us to talk. And He can make anything talk. What is going to, what is, what kind of excuse we will have? Ask yourself. I gave you, Allah Azza wa Jal, I gave you everything. I gave you everything. Eyes to see, ears to hear, legs to walk. I gave you health. I gave you a job. I gave you wealth. I gave you everything. And all what I have asked. I gave you 24 hours, 24 hours for you. And I asked for one, only one. 10 minutes Fajr, 10 minutes Dhuhr, 10 minutes Asr, 10 minutes Maghrib, 10 minutes Isha. That's it, that's it. This is what I asked from you, that's it. Nothing more. Fast, one, one month. I gave you 12 months, 12. I only asked for one. I gave you a whole life. I only ask for one time, you come and for, for, for one time. I gave you wealth. And I didn't ask. 
pay taxes or anything from it. I only ask whatever you have as an access, more than what you need, only, only 2.5%. 97.5 is for you. Only 2.5 is for him. What excuse we will have? We will not have any excuse. Unless Allah Azza wa Jal will shower us with his mercy and be merciful with us, otherwise we will be doomed. May Allah Azza wa Jal guide us to do the best and enable us to follow the path of his Prophet and his companions. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأزواجه الطيبين الطاهرين أمهات المؤمنين وعلى الصحابة أجمعين وعلى تابعيهم وتابع تابعيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. It is also not enough to have faith and to have iman and to do good deeds. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات. And then وتواصوا بالحق. وتواصوا بالصبر. They encouraged each other to do the right thing, to do the truth, to follow the path. It is not enough, brothers and sisters, it is not enough that I go to the masjid and I pray and I know my neighbor, my friend, my brother, he doesn't go and I leave him. That's not fair. It's not fair. He will come in the day of judgment and he will come to you and will tell you, why didn't you advise me? What, what, what would you say? I was shy. What would you say? We want to be among those who are exempted, among the exception. So we have to have faith, Iman, in Allah Azza wa Jal. And we have to strengthen that Iman by doing the good action and following the good deeds. And all what we do is within our ability. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. You cannot do it. Don't. Because Allah Azza wa Jal gives you an excuse. You cannot pray standing. Pray while you're sitting. You cannot pray while you're sitting. Pray while you're sleeping. You cannot fast because you're traveling. Break the fast. You cannot pray because you uh, fast because you are sick. Don't, no, no problem, make the fast. You're troubling, you don't have time, join the prayer. You don't have enough to pay the zakat, don't pay. You don't have the money to go to Hajj, don't go. Allah Azza wa made it, made it so easy. So easy. And, and ask yourself, ask yourself, would the actions Honestly speaking, would the actions and all the deeds that we are doing in 50 years, this is the life, let's say, this is the life sentence that we've been given 50 years, would that be equivalent? Would that be equivalent to get a reward, to be in heavens, to have whatever you wish? for eternity? Is that equivalent? No, absolutely no. It is not equivalent. Unless, unless we are showered by the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah Azza wa Jal, His mercy is only for the believers. May Allah Azza wa Jal strengthen our Iman and enable us to do what would please Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم اغفر الإسلام اللهم اغفر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب للدعوات 
اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين أعدائك كأعداء الدين عباد الله إن الله يمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروها على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله على ما تصنعون وأقم الصلاة